I think like every Inferno match today has gone into OP. Uh, I've seen at least three, including ours. I'm sure there were some that people got rolled on. <laughs> That's true. But All right, we are actually live, so the pistol round is now underway. This is the quarterfinals, Revel versus OK Boomers. All right, you're the number guy, don't forget. I am the number guy. Close that. So we have the T side with two sets of utility. Right off the bat, heavy lo lobby presence, and they're looking to nade off the door, possibly smoke mini or smoke in front of the vent to get down to B. But it actually looks like they have a three-man stack waiting for some kind of push as Jet keeps an eye on ramp. Throwing a couple fake flashes and a smoke to draw a push from Xanax and it's working, but he'll find the frag on Otogi. And it looks like the T's are out a sight gain. The plant off for Xanax still, they didn't account for him to stay in lobby. And he's just going to wreak havoc as he gets another one. And it's down to Jet in a 1v4. They know he's coming heaven. And he's going to go down. That was a quick, quick cleanup for Revel. Um, the T side tried to wait for a push, but they didn't get it. So they ended up going out A, and it just didn't work out for them. Yeah, they were waiting for the push in the wrong spot. They had three people looking squeaky. Xanax went through Hut and just deleted the first guy <laughs> yeah. there. And it's going to be a full save from the Boomers as I'm going to guess they're going for a ramp rush. No, they're just going to try to get down the vent for a bomb plant. And it looks... Oh, never mind. The bomb's not going to make it down the vent and the molly on top oh. of it. So yep. no way a bomb's game planted. Atogi already rough. in a 1v5. And he's just going to wait by secret, see if he can get any kills. And all things considered, if he gets a kill with Glock no armor, it's probably worth it in his case. And that round is going to be closed out very quickly. They only had Glock, so... They didn't have much going for them there, but we'll, we'll see a full buy round from them. So, yeah, Rebel already getting hyped. I can hear him yelling through the door. Yeah, they are a loud team. Two rounds. <laughs> First buy round for the Boomers. So Rebel is keeping most of their eco weapons. So if they win this round, it's very important for them. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be quick outside smokes. Towards the close cross in front of Mini to allow them access into secret. And there's going to be a couple trades for Jet. Actually, one of the smokes missed, leaving a massive hole that Jet managed to make use of to find two kills outside and give his team access to a lower site. But Jackro is down here as Xanax goes down outside heaven. So that spreads the CTs even thinner as Jackro actually has to give up lower. And the T's are pretty content to just sit and wait for the CTs to walk into them again. Hat F is going to close out Heretic in that angle. I like how Heretic's looking for team. Yeah. And then he's traded by Jacker outside, so it's all up to Jacker in this round. They seem to be going to the lower bomb site, and Jacker gets closed out quickly. I was about to say he stood a chance, but... Yak in heaven didn't let him even get the secret. So that's going to be the first gun round going in the way of the boomers. But it was more of a bonus round for Revel. They kept their SMGs. Yeah, that was their bonus round, luckily. So it didn't really matter that much. It would have been good for them if they had won it. Because they would have been able to build a solid economic lead in the matchup. But they're on low money now. So if they lose this one, it's very, very bad for them. So the T's want to win this round. And they seem to be pressuring up or early. Mollied off by... JJ Blaster. It looks like a lot of heavy early lobby presence from the T's, but Jet outside managed to find Blaster, but gets traded by Heretic, who gets traded out by Otogi. And the T's, uh, yes, T's are going to go out A as Xanic pushes Hut again, just like Pistol Round, and gets another two kills, and drops he has the, the bomb. bomb. This could but be he, bad. Ooh, he he's going to get spammed through the wall by Pat. So now it's Jackrow in the 1v2. He's going to get caught off guard here, surely. Oh, he sees both of them. Will he find Otogi, though? Otogi, he's just going to run back into lobby and go towards ramp. Does Jackrow hear it? This is going to be a mind game coming. Sounds like he does. He picks up a Galil, realizes, and switches to the AK. And Otogi actually throwing the fake towards lower and is going to walk towards heaven instead. And Jackrow bit hard going down the vent. 
So Togi right now has the upper hand. If he goes heaven, he can see if Jacko decides to come back up. Togi just slowly clearing this bomb site. You know, he's not sure where Jacker could be. Goes for the plant. Jacker's going to sneak up the vent. We'll see what happens here in this exchange. Reload as well and give away his position. Jacker gets the frag. It's a third round for Rebel. The game pretty hype. And that's going to be a partial reset for the Boomers as Togi and Yak are the old, and Jed actually. Their money's pretty solid, all things considered. This next round is going to be very important. I think both teams are going to be low economically. Revel might just actually save for the next round. I think that's the smarter play to make. Yeah, the CT's economy is... Or no, they're going to they're gonna actually buy around the op, so this will be an interesting round. It's very important for both teams. It's Economies are looking economy low. economy system where even though the T's uh, lost the round... They took down four and got a bomb plants, so their money was way better off than the CTs. And they're going to throw the same outside smokes, but the same hole is there still. I don't know if a molly is being thrown or if someone's missing their lineup, but... That looks like what would be caused by the molly. That's something so that Reveler an op can exploit the later in the game, but it seems that Nova is towards ramp instead. So he would not be able to capitalize on that. So they're trying to push lower. They just got smoked off by Heretic. This is a do or die round for both teams. Whoever loses this round gets economically reset, and that's going to be two for the other. Unless a miracle comes up. Heretic peaks, doesn't get a frag, falls off. Good damage on to Otogi, though. But no he kill means it's still 5v5, and he's alone at B with the yump. Yeah. And there's Three T's all around him. This, he's not going to be able to find the kill. Bird. And Jet or finds Z another Bird. one to Jack Row. And the CT's. J Boss are coming in through Decon's able to find one, put Nova in a 1v2, but he's gone on the AWP, and retaking off an AWP is never easy. Especially although, lower on Nuke. Although he seems to know that somebody's control. And he gets fragged. Taken down by Z Bird. So and now Rebel's economy is reset. They're yeah. looking in shambles right now. Okay, Boomers could build up a solid lead on this T side. Yeah, so long as Boomers keep this clean on this anti-eco, then money will be great going into the next gun round against Rebel. And if they win it from there, then it might just turn into a one-sided affair for the T's right off the bat. This is going to be a but full Nova. eco. Nova gets the Deagle frag. Oh my god, one, one Deagle from Garage... But he's not going to get a second one as they take the high ground on him on Silo. Okay, Boomers are going for the Zeus kills right now. <laughs> two Zeuses. Or Revel, sorry. But they're not in the best locations to be capitalizing on that as all four T's are outside. And they're set up towards Hut and Radio. Yeah, they're playing it slow. It's slow and smart. They do have the info though as Jack Rowe is pushed through Lobby and knows nobody's in Lobby. So a gamble stack could bear fruit for Revel if they guess right. But it looks like Jack like Yak is going to pressure on the inner bomb site. Is that Molly going to reach the guy event? Heretic Ooh, escapes that Molly. So he's going to be able to. S yeah, he's got a free one Zanuck here. with the Zeus. The gets Zeus it. gets a kill. Heretic and gets Heretic one gets too. Heretic gets another one as well. This, this actually is. A 3v2. is turning bad quickly as it's now an advantage for the CTs. And again, Amali not Jack touching Rowe. CT, but... Traded out by a bird. Oh, that's an unnecessary peek from the guy Heaven. The bomb's planted for him. And Zebra is just going to get run down by the player in lobby. It's down to a 2v1, and Zebra's one shot, but he gets the first on the Heretic. And, and he the second. gets the second kill on a Xanax with the pistol. Good that was recovery. very close. But now their money is... Equally as shaky as Revels is. But Revel, they have to do another save. These rounds are coming very close. Oh. Yeah. So far, the T's haven't had more than three players survive. That's not doing much for their economy. Yeah. They could end up getting reset pretty easily. Yeah, it looks like they're not even giving the CTs a chance to do some shenanigans if they go fast out A. But Heretic on top of Hut gets one. And the lobby push from Xanax as well gets a second. And again, advantage for the CTs when they had no armor, oh, low armor and pistols, no utility. 
CTs are really punishing them on these half buys with the pistols. And they have the bomb down in the lobby as well, so the T's... It might be early to call it, but they might be out of this round already. I mean, you have two players who now have rifles and armor locking down the bomb. And you have to retake the bomb from lobby, and one of your players has an op. Yeah, and Jet's in this heaven position, but it's really not going to do anything for him, considering that the bomb is down. Although, the number four man of Heretic, he's getting a little nosy away from the bomb. So he's able to cut off any mini approach, which Z-Bird might be going for. Heretic's going to hear that smoke. He's ready for it. Yeah, he's going to make the call. Z-Bird has no idea what's going to happen to yeah, him. Yeah, he should have no idea that this man's secret. Free kill. 3v1 for Jet. As he makes his way through the heaven position, down to Squeaky. Sees the first man, Jackrow. Gets one. Gets one, but takes half damage. And now that Molly's going to lock him into a fight with Heretic oh, or Xanax. Reloads against Xanax. <laughs> yeah, they weren't expecting the second man to be holding the bomb. And that's a... That's a bad reset for the Boomers as a Togi down to 1,400. It's got to be a save. And maybe that will be the deciding factor as who comes up on top in this half as now Revel are back in the lead. Yeah, Revel seem to be finally building their economy, which is important for the CT side on this map. Oh God. The rounds were coming close, but... Looks like it's going to be a ramp rush from the T's on this eco round. And... <laughs> what number is he? <laughs> Jackro doing the right thing and falling back. Making the call for his teammates. But he gets destroyed by that P250. And now the CT's basically have to forfeit this bomb plan. It's already a pretty good round for the Boomers. As Xanax is able to find a Togi. It's back into a 4 on 4 situation. But the guns heavily favor Revel. And I don't think... No matter how well positioned Boomers are, they're not going to be able to win the post plant as quickly Nova and Heretic clean up. It's down to Zebra that ramp, and he's going to get taken out by Blaster. Yeah, they got the plant. They got two members of Revel down, so that was a good eco considering what they put into that round. And they should have a good buy with that plant money coming to this next round. Yeah, so far Nuke is delivering. I mean, it's hard to tell who picked this map. Because both teams seem pretty proficient in their approach. But I'd probably give the edge to Revel in terms of their CT side because of their ecos mainly. They did massive damage with just USPs, Deagles, and CZs. Revel also seems to be just prepared for the outside control that OK Boomers is throwing at them. Let's see if they... This is interesting. They're missing two of their cross smokes. And please don't tell me they're going to try to cross... <laughs> this openly. They're going to right click it, but Heretic from Secret is going to peek up and find one. He's got two more up here that he might be able to find. The bomb's dropped again. And that lack of cross smokes outside is just punishing the T's as they have three different angles to worry about getting shot from. They're able to recover the bomb, but what do you do in this situation? You don't have the outside control that you expended almost all of your utility for. And the CTs have the man advantage. Although J Blaster is stuck in mini, but he's given a freebie as Jet looks away at the wrong time. It'll be hard for their T's to bring this round back, but they do have outside control at the cost of two of their players. So they can do something with that. But Heretic's going to peek out from Secret and get Yak. He's just wreaking havoc, and J Jet's Blaster all alone in a 4 one Gets one. Can he Doesn't see the player Zanix. on top of Hut. And now he's outside alone with the bomb in 30 seconds. Going to the inner bomb site into two of them. He has no information. Well, if he goes down the vent, he has a much better chance of weighing around, but say he's gonna go towards A. He won't and Xanax is gonna close the round out. And Revel starting to gain that momentum as Boomers are now on another eco. And the score is 6-3. Yeah, we have most of the CTs above 5,000, so this is not looking good for OK Boomer's economy. And it's gonna be hard to bring this half back especially as they are in another eco, so this should be a clean round, but the pistols have been shaky, so you never know. Looks like the T's will take this pistol round a little slower than the last one as they work some picks with the deagles outside and towards radio. As Jet, he's just going to run down Jackrow Jet and get the kill Jack again. See Jackrow talking in dead chat. I can only imagine it was a not happy 
complaint. That's a big kill. OK Boomers has a lot of map control here, and Revel really doesn't know what to rotate to. Yeah, they have all of radio in control as Nova will find Jet from the hill position to make sure they can't wrap Heaven and lock them into that lower area where Heretic lies in wait. But JJ, he gets taken out outside. Xanax is able to double up on the inner site. Togi might be able to get a plant here, but no, Heretic will swing from ramp and close the round out. This is a big round for Boomers. If they don't win this gun round, this might turn a one into one of those one-side affairs that Nuke is so famous for. Oh, and a little bit of team damage <laughs> off the start, start as Nova gets knifed by a teammate. That's This not isn't the best. face it, guys. I imagine it could be worse though, but Jackrow is still able to get a kill onto Z Bird in the radio position. He's gonna fall back with that man advantage. So they're gonna be taking ramp control with all four players. Revel has no player here, so they're gonna get it for free. And we'll see what they do with this control. It looks like the CTs have also forfeited hell control and are playing a full retake sort of situation in which the T's actually have a lot of free reign, but they're going to go down ramp towards Jackro and Xanax, and it's not working out for them. Yeah, they just have this crossfire down. Jackro picks up two Ooh, and nice three flick. with a nice shot onto Jet. And that's real bad for Boomers. They didn't even get a kill that round, and their money, again, in the dumps, looking like it might be a 9-3 unless they can have a miraculous pistol round like Revel did. So Jet's actually going to force by an AK while the rest Ooh. of his team picks up Deagles. This could be an interesting round. They have been getting a lot of picks with the Deagles. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Did he see Nova Cross? He did not see Nova Cross, so Nova might get free, but, but Jet will actually find two outside. He's been... That Deagle pays... Uh, that AK pays yeah, off he's been fast. magical out here with the AK. And now Zebra, he's close to heaven. And does Jackro realize how close he is? You have three people in big garage, and he's just going to swing out and basically serve himself on a silver platter. Heretic is flanking Secret right now. Heretic's in a very good position. He might be able to find two if he gets the timing right, assuming the T's do go in towards Mini as they have the heaven position. Oh, but Jet's going to smoke it off right in time. Ooh, he, Heretic but will Heretic find one, one, but he will fall back. Keep it close in a 2v3 as Xanax walking up from hell. He knows the player's heaven, so... Doesn't have much of an act, but... Oh, Zebra's not looking heaven, is he? He's not looking heaven. Oh, oh he just God. looks... He escapes that fight, though. He's very lucky to get away from that. And now the T's get the bomb plant on the A site. And it's a bit awkward of a retake situation now as Xanax doesn't know where he went heaven. Zebra gets a freebie. It's Heretic into 1v3. I wouldn't write him out of it just yet. You got one player on two health and one with no armor. Ooh, he spots Ooh, he jet. jet. Does he know he can wallbang that vent? Doesn't look like it. But he'll get the kill anyways. He's on for the ace to win this round and stomp out the boomers. <laughs> That's a fun sentence. <laughs> oh, it's a big whiff of spray and Otogi, Otogi picks him up. Okay, boomers coming back into this half. They're going to have to build a streak of rounds for their economy's sake. Yeah, but They needed that. They are back in it. They're going to have a very healthy buy with a lot of utility. We'll see if they use that outside again. They've been throwing their outside control a lot. Can't but tell. the CTs have a lot of utility as well to defend against it. So. I want to throw in their cross smokes again. I, you have to ask, is there going to be a hole? And there's an... Ooh, Not a hole. It's actually hard to tell because before he crossed, there was a bit of a gap. I don't know if the Molly helped or harmed them there. But the T's still taking so much damage crossing in the secret. They lose Pat. And three players already very low. And Jackro just. Oh my Walks god. Into B. <laughs> Picks up one, gets traded by Big Yak. Balling it onto Z Bird. And Z Bird's get not very happy in the dead chat. As the CT's look to close this round out, it's down to Jet and Zach. Both. Uh, Low on HP. Jet goes down early. Yak into 1v3. No chance. Nova closes out. That was very strange. They pushed that Molly, taking nearly 300 damage in total. Sure that, really, had a smoke that really for put it. them back in that round. One player even died. I don't know how that's possible. But that was a big kill from Jack Rowe. Yeah. Just running in there for his knife Rowe. out. Managing to get that op shot off before <laughs> he got traded by the other three T's. 
Very confident walking into that shot. We like Tease. to see it. It looks like they want to go out A fast, but the Molly the door is going to stop them. Jet outside again finding success. Nova's trying to push that smoke, and Jet just punishes him for that. I hope he didn't have an off when he did that. <laughs> and it sounds like the other quarterfinals heating up as well. Pat's Pat just going to walk out on this A site. Heretic is oh, here. He's he doesn't looking the wrong know it. way. He's playing he anti-fast, but he doesn't him. check dice, and Heretic gets Heretic two. Gets two gets traded by Xanax on the other side of smoke also gets two, and it's down the Yak alone in the lobby position. And, yep, cleaned up by Blaster. It's 10 to 4. Last round of the half for the Boomers, and they have bad money except for Z-Bird. Okay, Boomers is just really not capitalizing on these trade opportunities. And you see Heretic there getting two kills, almost a third one, when he really should be just a free entry. Yeah, these round wins came from the Boomers working together as like a big unit of like four or three players trading out. But when they're splitting up like this, they're just getting traded uh, or actually taken down without any trades. Xanax finds a Togi who's alone in lobby. And now the other four T's outside the gang. Ooh, picked apart by Heretic with the op. As J Blaster also finds one, Yak goes down. It's Zebra in the one v five for the last round of the half. Full and blind, he gets and he's down. And cleared out. Ooh. Outside control really was not going well for OK Boomers in that half. No, it wasn't. There was way too many holes in their cross smokes. There was just times where they didn't get down secret fast enough. There was times where they ran through the molly when they didn't have to. Just a lot of, I'm not gonna say rookie mistakes, but. I mean, they were just forcing that outside control, yeah. and it didn't seem like they did need to. But at the same time, Revel did a very good job at punishing them for that. Hmm? Yeah, it's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to retry yeah. the console. Uh, this pistol round will be right back. <laughs> Damn, that's a fat. This one's definitely on the SSD. And we're right back, and nothing's changed since Nova going down at the beginning to Jet, who has the dualies. I can only assume he's using them inside, because that's a pretty typical place for dualies to be. But the T's are down lower, and there's no CTs to contest yet. But Atogi might run into Jackro here. Does he know he's in the corner? No, he doesn't. He's going to go down as well, back into a 4 on 4. And the CTs are scrambling, but Jet with the dualies is going to try to run down Jackrow, but also go down. So 3v3 again, and the bomb is just sitting outside lobby as his teammates are down lower. It's quite separated. They're going to have to come back up as like a rescue mission to escort the bomb somewhere. So the T's are going to be entering mini. Z-Bird up at Mustang. Sees both of them. Gets J-Blaster. Will he get Jack or yes? And it's just Xanax. He's dancing. And gets the third. And Z-Bird gets it. All three kills. Closes out the pistol round. Revel's going to have a big lead going into this. Especially now that Revel. Oh. Oh. They played that whole pistol round with the scoreboard bug. Same one we <laughs> just had as spectators that we had to retry for. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to match medic that or just play as is. Some trash talk going on in the chat by Heretic. No surprises there. Yeah, there's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a rivalry between Heretic and basically the entirety of Boomers. <laughs> this is where things get interesting. I think Z Bird's <laughs> just pissed off from that Jack <laughs> play still. So Revel revealing that they are just a random mix. <laughs> And they're in playoffs. Trying to get in the heads of OK Boomers. I don't believe that. <laughs> some tension is arising. Hopefully there's some trash talk. We always love some friendly trash talk going on at these LAN tournaments. Nothing too crazy. But these teams definitely don't like each other. And that is evident in the chat. <laughs> Ooh, this is heating <laughs> up, but we're going to get underway in the round, so hopefully they stop typing to each other. All right, the match is back live. Uh, they paused because they had the scoreboard bug on pistol, and they played it out, so he was retrying to fix that. So full Glock eco coming out for Revel. 
We've seen what they can do on pistols on CT side. Can they recreate that on the T side as Jet and Seeker of the XM is going to make big bank if he gets one. Gets this, yeah. Falls off, reloads. Togi gets the one as well with his auto shy, so the money's rolling in for the CT side already. And it's not much chance left for the T, although somehow they find Jet. And Pat not hitting the shots outside with the scout. But it's still f two Glocks and a Deagle against four players with armor and guns. Pat's still taking these fights. Oh, they run boost the bomb across the secret across safely. Oh, that's a nice shot to hit. And Nova will find the auto shot as well. I'm not sure what he's going to do from secret with it. Yeah. He's just trying to find a kill. Heretic's going to go down as well as it's Nova left in the 1v4. I guess in this situation, all you can hope for is somebody pushes you and you get some money. You can get that op out early. Or an early rifle. Yeah, their money is very low, so any kills here would be very appreciated for the T side. Doesn't look like they're going to give him the chance, though. Although, something interesting to note is the boomers don't have anyone down towards B. And Pat is going to close him out with the long-range sniper compared to the shotgun. That wasn't a very favorable fight. <laughs> <laughs> Especially outside of all places. Yeah. If it's in there, maybe. Heretic having a great match going 21 and 8. So Revel's going to have a full buy. They have low util, but the better weapons. <laughs> the second quarterfinal. Something amazing just happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fast outside control from Revel, though. Their cross smokes don't miss. They're actually going to go in front of them and contest the CTs heavily. And Pat, he's just picking fights that he Pat has gets no out of that of surviving. Winning. He might swing big garage anyways. Some big damage exchange on both Ooh, sides. That nade nearly takes him out though. He's down to three. Surely he cuts his losses and just hides and lets Seabird take over from heaven. But it looks like he still wants to take the fight. So the T's are going to give up on this outside control, leaving Nova to lurk it. They seem to be going for more lobby presence, maybe for a ramp take. Although they did achieve their goal. They have both Z-Bird and Pat outside worried about where the T's are because Pat is too low to be peeking without utility. And Nova, Nova's sneaking into Mini and Nova as his able team to pressures this. ramp. He might find Z-Bird, but his aim is off. And now Jackrow, he's got through ramp because Jack over-rotated. Back to a 4-on-4. Four four. Two players in hell. They can get down lower pretty easily. It's up to... I think that's Jet to hold the line. Yep, Jet at Decon to hold the line, but they spotted him out. Heretic's able to find Zebra as well. Jet wants to fight the bomb, but the Molly's going to lock him out. 4v3 post plant that favors Revels, Revel heavily as two players are stuck in control. J Blaster is able to find one, can't find a second though. And Jet trying to work his way out of decon. He's able to get out, but Xanax trades him from dark and it's a Togi in the 1v3. He's been having a rough game. Finds the first, but he's traded by Heretic. 12 to 6 for Revel. So Boomer's economy is looking pretty bad right now. They might force a buy into this just because it's so uneven. And Revel has just a f another full buy coming out. They might throw another outside take. This will be interesting to see. Oh, no. They're ty typing in chat again. <laughs> Some trash talk going again. <laughs> see where the Nova must be great friends. Jet and bringing Jet out the dualies out the again. Dualies. And armor. He's very confident in his ability with these dualies. Togi's close outside. He's able to find Heretic. He's taking big damage from Xanax. And Xanax he gets traded out. The smoke. Pats in big garage with the scout. Yak hiding in his own smoke at ramp. If he pushes that, he could catch the C's off guard and lobby. Hubert, Hubert and he Nova. does push it. But Jackrow catches him out, but oh, loses the trade. He's stuck in radio. And the T's, they're hungry to trade him. He's one shot. If he gets another, he'd be impressive, but he doesn't. And J Blast is able to find Jet outside as well. It's down to Pat in the 1v3. And I was going to say, who but Nova to kill Z Bird in this <laughs> nice little rivalry we got going? So Pat's got the scout and the pistol. Any clutch here is very unlikely as Hello. they enter the lower bomb site. He could have upgraded to the AK there. He walked over it on the body. But it looks like he would rather try to win the round. And will he expect J Blaster in this corner? Which one does he choose to clear? He has two angles. Clears the wrong one. J Blaster and gets J -Blaster a freebie. Gets that kill for free. 
making the lead 13 to 16 against OK Boomers oh in map God, one on seven. Nuke. We've been here so long. <laughs> It looks like Revel. They're in prime position to close this map out. As is another save from the Boomers. But as we saw on the CT side for Revel, it's a lot easier to win these ecos when you're holding the sights. Yeah, Boomers opting to double save. Yeah, so. messing with the door and not sure what he was going for there as J Blast gets a freebie as he tries to close it again. But Togi and Pat each find kills. Pat looking for another but gets traded by Jackro. Yeah, can't find a kill but gets a tag. But Togi is able to drop him, so it's back into a 2-on-3. Last two players looking like they're taking the outside control, trying to find more picks mm -hmm. to even out the round. If Yak peeks out heaven here, he certainly goes down to Heretic. Ooh, well, I don't think sure. Heretic spotted him there. I don't think he spotted Heretic either, so he might be able to creep up heaven here as Xanik is just providing cover fire, waiting for Yak to try to swing again. Although Yak seems aware of it now, and he's just holding for the heaven peak. He won't find it though. Beats him to the fight. Back into a two v two. Gets Heretic traded by Yogi. on the Otogi. Otogi having a great round. Finds his third. It's Xanax in a one v two. Forty seconds on the clock. Otogi is not in the best position, but he'll find the kill anyways. And that's the seventh round for OK Boomers. Their economy is looking good. They're gonna have another full healthy buy with a lot of utility to counter whatever the T side try to do. That's two full eco wins. Well, not full eco, but eco wins from the CT side and almost a third. Revel with four deagles and a lot of armor. They're going to be playing slow for picks, I imagine. Got a smoke and a flash. Looks like they might try to... Never mind. I don't know what they were going for if he's throwing that smoke. They seem to be going for some ramp control, but they were smoked off by the CTs. So now they're stalling in lobby for time. I, th I think that smoke was meant to sort of bait out an aggression from the CTs, but it did not pan out. So that's one of the two pieces of utility gone. And Pat will find Heretic outside. And Jet also has taken some pretty significant damage early in the round. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll be watching that quarter final at the same time. Seabird holding the ramps, finds one, finds the second. Can he find any more? Finds the third, actually. Well, not the third, sorry. But it's and down it's to Xanax. Xanax with the pistol. He's, He's just gonna jumping get around. He doesn't know what to do in that situation. Cleaned out. And That's a good round from OK Boomers, keeping four guns alive. It's another eco from Revel as well. Do you think Boomers can make the comeback? They're going to close it down to four if they keep it clean. They're certainly building up some cash, so even if they do end up losing a gun round, they still are in this game. And Nuke is a CT-sided map, so mm -hmm. the score is very, very apart, but this game is closer than it seems. That's going to be a good nade from Atogi. Mini nuke on the J Blast. And J Blaster <laughs> takes out Xanax. Oh no, not another <laughs> team, team kill. Nice shot, he says. <laughs> <laughs> and that no no outside presence or control given to the T's on this round. Although somehow Jack Romero to get out hut, but was taken out by Otogi from Mini. And Togi's recovered quite nicely. He was, I think, maybe 3 and 13 at some point. But he is now 13 and 16. So he's, he's picked it up on the CT side, and that's good because the Boomers needed it being down 13 to 6. As it looks like they'll be able to close out this eco and turn it to 13 9. Good shot from Pat onto Heretic. As JJ all alone with the only kill in the round. On his teammate. <laughs> Stuck behind. Big red. Togi. Looking for the frag. He's able to find it. And the money for Boomers is starting to build up quite nicely. So even if they do lose this next gun round, the Revel, they'll be able, be able to buy back and keep the game alive. Revel's coming out with a strong buy here. They've finally decided to pull out the op on this T side. Oh, four Kriegs. And five scopes from Revel. Meta is still alive. <laughs> SG Meta going strong. Yeah, three hundred dollar boost was not enough to nerf this gun <laughs> valve. And Please like fix. They're gonna get the f fast cross, and but Jet's down here at the other side. It's probably the deadliest place for this thing to be, 
And not the freebie on Heretic the Heretic. just peeks right into that auto shot. He gets punished heavily. That's even more money in the way of the CTs as well. Hopefully he can pick up that SG too. An SG on nuke for CT side is something deadly. It looks like the CTs want to boost ramp, which might be a good call. At, oh, Nova's going to get caught off here by Jeff. The auto shot, it's going to be more money in his pocket. And that's the op taken out. 3T is now stuck in lobby. Not sure where to go. As they want to nade off the door and maybe go out squeaky fast. As they smoke mini, throw flash towards the vent. But Toby just runs through the smoke and finds two. And, and the, the third. third one. Oh All my three goodness, the Togi, I think he's lined top up fragging door. now. He is, oh, almost, he's one off the of top fragging when he was bottom of the barrel earlier in the game. The Togi coming out with a big play there at the end of the round to keep the CT's money going strong. Yeah, it's going to be another pistol mix by with two flashes and nade and three people of armor. CZ's across the board. They're going to nade off the door. Looks like they want to go out fast, but the Molly is there to stop Ooh, them. And Jet. Jet with the Krieg that we Another mentioned. Another team kill, too. Oh, he only got one there. And there was two team kills. <laughs> oh, no. There's been two kills in this round. Three kills and two teams died to teammates. I think, was that Nova for both of them? Yeah, Nova. So if Nova <laughs> kills one more, he should be banned, Nova's toxic. Technically. <laughs> okay, Boomers are really coming out with a lot more confidence on the CT side. They seem to know what they are doing and how to counter the T-side's aggression on certain parts of the map. And this 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 map is getting close. 13-11 is the score as we go into round 25. Yeah, now Jet has that Krieg. And as you saw there, it's hard to beat a Krieg on CT-side. Just being able to lock down an alley. Ooh, does Xanax, Xanax know that that smoke came from the boosted spot on ramp? Because if he does, that's good info that he can use. But Nova, outside, he's got CTs all over this place. One in secret, one behind blue, and one in mini. Can he find any picks? The Ts have used a lot of their utility outside, but struggled to gain any real control as Nova is just Ooh, double left alone secret. lurking. They have four players playing towards outside. Heretic's able to find Pat behind blue, so that's one down. They're really banking on nobody going out hut because it's only a togi to hold that down from the second vent position. That's an easy position to trade, but Jet is going to peek up from the secret and find the trade on the Nova. It's back into a 4 on 4 and they're going to forfeit that heavy outside presence as they know they got the guy who was causing them problems and now they're going to... Jackrow gets the kill on the togi to make the entry into A bomb site. And they get that control for free as there's only one player there. Yeah, that's the downside of having that heavy, heavy outside presence. Especially in Otogi's case where he was playing second vent. Very easy position to clear. Zebra trying to get in this heaven position with the teammate in the vent. Oh, what was Xanax? Jet is able to find two. Great damage on the Jackros. It's a 2v2 situation. Jet, or Jet has full util. Does a great maul. He's going to be able to burn out both players. Seabird's able to find, or not able to find Jet's one. Sticking Jet looks bomb, like he's sticking the bomb. Off. Ooh, <laughs> awkward. Heretic's able to find him, though. And that's the 14th for Revel. That was a very interesting end of the round. I think Jet should have just helped his teammate trade out the last two, but they oh, may he, not have known that they were both Thor. So. If he threw the nade instead of the molly, he gets the kill onto the first T, and it turns into a 2v1 situation. That's a way more difficult to deal with. But instead, the Molly is able to force both towards him. In a two-on-one fight, you can't kill both unless you have some great spray control. And Revel breaking their round, like five-round loss streak. This is important for them as they finally start to gain more momentum into this half. Yeah, and they're able to, able to find the first pick on the Jet, who's been uh, throwing in their side these last couple of rounds, getting plenty of multi-kills. And the other quarterfinal, once again, <laughs> people yelling. Zebra wants to get aggression towards Hut to trade back, but he Blaster's loses the fight to Blaster. It's a 3v5 for the CTs. They might just want to consider saving here. It's oh, and good. Atogi goes down through Mini to Nova. And yeah, the CTs, you got to bail out here. It's 15 for the Ts. You need to, you need to keep this off. Although Jet and Zebra have great money. And Nova outside is making it hard for them to even cross the CT. As that, or Pat needs to... Save towards ramp, actually. But Yak's going to open up that avenue as he finds Nova. Gets a kill for Consolation. Hopefully they can 
manage to save these guns for the next round. Yeah, it looks like the T's are perfectly content with allowing it because they need to keep their money strong. But Yak... Yak's going to peek into A. Yeah, I'm not sure why he was going for that. And he'll go down and pat. He's very <laughs> close to the bomb here. He might just blow up. We can't hear the bomb, so we don't know if he's going to try to bail out soon. But if he stays here, he might die the bomb. But right, he'll, Pat will he'll fall save back. the up for the next round. We'll see what OK Boomers can do with this. They seem to have a lot of money. They should have full utility, and this is, will be a full gun round coming up. And last chance for the Boomers to bring it back. They need four to secure OT on map one. Still don't know who this pick was. Revel's money, luckily, is not looking amazing. They'll have one more buy after this if OK Boomers can manage to win this round. Yeah, if they win this, they can string and get a second gun round. That would certainly follow. That secures an eco afterwards, which would lead to 15-14, which is always a deadly scoreline. Pat, he's going to pull a JW here and aggress towards Hut with his op, but Xanax just jumping off his knife out and Outer with the cross smokes, thinking no one was there. Again, yeah, he's just walking out, walking down this outside position, whether he's T or CT. Pat's able to find Nova through Squeaky as well. He's got Jackra locked in. He's going to throw Molly to force him out of his position. But will he peek with him? No, he won't. Get a little bit of chip damage on the Heretic and Jackrow. The T's are going to go for ramp control as they weren't able to find any picks in her. Z-Bird's in the booster position now. He's good for two here if he plays his cards right. And they're not going to check him, so he gets one. He gets the second. Can he get the third? And he yes, gets he the can. third. Z-Bird closing that round off strong. Okay, Boomers looking to... Ooh have a rough round as Revel do opt to force buy, so this is not a free round for them. It's Heretic, who's the only one that seemed to keep that form from the dominant first half they had into the second half, as he's near a 30, but the game is still not closed out. Nova again, solo outside he's control. He finds the free pick as well on the Zebra Heaven from Hut, and Xanax and they gonna just run out Hut, get traded, Jet goes takes out Heretic as well, back into a three, oh, but Big trades from Jacko and J-Blaster, and that's going to be And they close out map one. 16 to 12. Revel against OK Boomers. So that's going to be map one going in the way of Revel. Map two, still don't know what it is. It's going to yeah, be a we'll, surprise. We'll find out shortly. And then map three, same situation. <laughs> so that... Was very interesting. Oh, it's hot in here. Nuke game. Yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see more outside control from Revel. They kind of left Nova just lurking a lot. It ended up working out for them nicely as the smokes that they were throwing caused a lot of CT focus on the outside. So yeah, their we intertakes saw a lot were of very good easy and a lot of bad as well, though. Yeah, there was a lot of good team play towards certain positions like ramp, like inner but a lot of their outside control for both teams was negated it was very questionable yeah it's hard to tell who picked the map honestly yeah <laughs> both teams didn't seem like they were very prepared for that t side but revel made it work mm -hmm. now i don't know how to <laughs> put the other frame up <laughs> all right so second map is looking to be mirage Revel has one map lead against OK Boomers. Hopefully, OK Boomers can tie that with this Mirage map, and we don't know what map three is yet. Yeah, Boomers should be starting on the CT side, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure they started T side new. Yeah, Revel had the CT pick, so OK Boomers is likely taking this CT side. Yeah, map switched. Yeah, it's